Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the background file, and logo which we will be using in this logo reveal. You can download it from the below link in the description. Now let's see how to create this logo reveal. Create a new composition, name it as logo animation. For this composition, I will set time duration to 6 seconds, remaining everything will be the same. Now add the logo to the timer line. Scale the logo if needed, here I will scale my logo. Pre-compose it. Name it as logo. Select move all attributes into new composition. For this logo composition, in effects and preset, search for Vegas. Add Vegas to logo composition. For Vegas, in image contour, change channel to alpha. In segments, change segment to 1. Now at near about 2 seconds, create keyframe for length. At start of the timer line, change length to 0. Now at end of the timer line, change length to 0 0.5. In rendering, Change blend mode to transparent. You can see the preview. Now at 4 seconds. Create keyframe for rotation. At start of the timer line, change rotation to, minus 250 degrees. Now at end of the timer line, change rotation to, 250 degrees. Press U to view created keyframes. Select all created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. You can see the preview. Select the random phase. Here you can set any color of your choice for the outline. Change width to 1. Change hardness to 0 0.7. Change start opacity to 0. Here set midpoint opacity to 1. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now in effects and preset, search for glow. Add it to the logo composition. For glow, change glow radius to 75. Change glow intensity to 1.5. Perfect. Change glow operation to screen. Now let's create duplicate of the logo composition. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. For this duplicate, change the outline color. Here you can set any color of your choice. Uncheck the random phase. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid layer. Name it as Noise. In effects and preset, search for fractal noise. Add it to the noise layer. For fractal noise, change noise type to linear. Set contrast to 800. Brightness to 
minus 160. In transform, uncheck uniform scaling, set scale width to 1700. Set scale height to 1. Set complexity to 6.5. Now for evolution. While pressing Alt key, click on stopwatch of evolution. Now enter an expression, time 600. You can see the preview. Now let's pre-compose this layer. Name it as noise composition. Now hide this noise composition. Let's create a new adjustment layer. For this adjustment layer, in effects and preset, search for compound blur. Add it to the adjustment layer. For compound blur, change blur layer to noise composition. Set maximum blur to 7. Here for this adjustment layer, you can add this level effect or you can skip this step. For this level, adjust the input white and output white. You can see the preview. Now select all the layers. Pre-compose them. Name it as Neon Logo. Now from Project Panel, add the background media file to the timeline, place it below Logo Composition. For neon logo composition. Change mode to add. For logo composition. In effects and preset, search for glow. Add it to the logo composition. For glow, set radius to 45. We need to change this logo composition to 3D. Now press P to bring up position. Now at 2 seconds, create keyframe for position. Now at start of the timeline. Reduce the position value for Z axis as shown. Set value to near about, minus 2000. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. You can see the preview. Now let's create duplicate of this neon logo. For duplicate neon logo composition, in effects and preset, search for CC radial blur. Add it to the neon logo composition. For blur, change type to center zoom. Now at near about 3 seconds, create keyframe for amount. Now at 1 second, change amount to 120. Change quality to 100. Press U to view created keyframe, select amount keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. Now let's create a new camera layer. 
Now create null object. Change null to 3D. Parent camera to null object. For null, press P to bring up position, now at end of the timeline, create keyframe for position. At start of the timeline, increase position value as shown. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. For this adjustment layer, in effects and preset, search for camera lens blur, add it to the adjustment layer. Now at one second, create keyframe for blur radius, change blur radius to zero. Now at near about 10 to 7 frames. Change blur to 50. Select repeat edge pixels. Change shape to octagon. Press U to view keyframes. Now at 3 seconds, create keyframe for blur radius. Move 5 frames forward. Change blur radius to 50. Now again move 10 frames forward. Change blur radius to 0. Now at 5 seconds, create keyframe for blur radius, now at end of the timeline. Change blur radius to 50. Select shown keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. For blur lens, change grain to 90. Perfect. Now again create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset. Search for curves. Add curves to adjustment layer. Now adjust the curves for RGB as shown. Now in effects and preset, search for sharpen. Add it to the adjustment layer. For sharpen, set amount to 70. Now in effects and preset, search for noise. Add it to the adjustment layer. Set amount of noise to 2%. Now in effects and preset, search for vibrance. Add it to the adjustment layer. Set Vibrance to 40. Set Saturation to 30. Now let's create a new solid layer. This will be our cinematic frame. Now double click on this rectangle tool to create mask. For mask, Change mask path. Set unit to percent of source. Set top to 10%, bottom to 90%. Select inverted. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Here our neon logo reveal is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. See you next week with another awesome tutorial.